Hello there and welcome back. Wow, you're buying it already. It's incredibly busy. The long-awaited one-day social for our fabulous Charmaine and Dolly Dimples. Details are on your screen. How are you doing, my darling? <sighs> Tired. Busy, tired. Yeah, yeah. we've just Exhibiting come back from Manchester. Sorts, yeah. yeah, running around like headless chickens as yeah. we do. Lovely customers in Manchester. Fabulous. Of course, I was born there, so it's my hometown. Yeah. But I saw it's Yorkshire because I kind of between the two. Both behind the sides of the Pennines. Yeah. Don't blame me. Don't blame me yes. at all. Mm. Now this is brilliant. And I have to say, when I first saw it, I thought to myself, I don't remember seeing dyes from Dolly Dimples before. But we no. have seen dyes. Yeah, before. we've got, we've got dyes as well. Okay. Um, I mix and match things, so yeah, um, yeah, we've got dyes. So. Now I like these because these have got usability straight away when you look in there with the tabs but yeah. then we've got more so tell me about what we're looking at so we've got the ledger page dies so we've brought okay. the ledger page kits before mm -hmm. before we bought the brought bought, brought, brought <laughs> <laughs> tongue twisting before we brought them to Achanda I test them out on Joe Public okay. so you know it's like a secret organization and uh, shh <laughs> <laughs> and we we tried them out and what a lot of the ladies said was they'd like them as dies. So okay. I thought, yeah, okay, because then you can put all four in your machine if you've got an air file machine, crank them through and crack on. Plus, the other thing is I like doing things that are thicker and look like MDF, but they're only out of cards, so right. you can double up. So instead of hand cutting three or four and gluing them mm -hmm. together, crank them through your machine, as you know it's gonna be a perfect fit, you can yeah. glue them together, you can put them back through your machine so they're welded. You can then go in round the edge and use your emery board or your nail file, yeah. smooth them off, and they look like they're done out of MDF, and, and it's done how we card. And it's it is saving so you so much time. Thought, yeah, go for it. Um, and I have to say, we have got a paper pack, because I was asking, because this is what I remember seeing from you before, and we yeah. have got this as a pack that you can invest in, but the dies will fit perfectly with this, so if you don't want to kind be, of ink you know, When I've tried to do it, sometimes I get it perfect, sometimes I get a little bit of an edge on it, so I just go in, and ink it up. Okay, but that's fair those are meant for cutting out. Yeah. But then we do have another kit where it's like full sheets because this was when Robbie took over okay. and he says, why don't you do it? Instead of the little pages, yeah. do full ones, then they could put their other dies in there as Good well. Good idea. And then he turned around and says, why don't you do double sided? And I went, I hate double sided because I never know which side to choose. Uh -huh. He says, but of course, these turn over and you use You're both, see sides. both oh, sides. I said, yeah, right, okay, okay I'll well. go for it. So we did that as well. He's not as green as his cabbage looking. No, either, no, he's it? definitely cabbage looking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's watching, he's going to thump me. Going to be in trouble. Love him lots. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell us on your screen for you one day special. Lots of you buying these already. You've got 26 dies in this collection. You're saving £15, which equates to one of those die sets coming to you as a Billy bonus. And we do like a Billy bonus. Um, £44.96 being your price, 296636. And you can see some of the ideas that you've got working with these already out on the counter. I love these little tabs. They're really quirky because you can use them in so many different ways, whatever appeals to you. And I've been doing this sort of thing for many years. I've got Alzheimer's in the family, okay. unfortunately, and I've been told it sort of passes it on, and I mm. struggle with memory and where mm. I'm going and what I'm doing. Okay. So to me, I do techniques in there and looking at a visual reminds me of what I did. Yes. Does that make sense it to you? It does indeed. Cause cause it, yeah, so I can like, it's not just that. writing the information mm -hmm. down, because I'm dyslexic, so yeah. then I'd have to figure out what the heck did I write. <laughs> It's about visual and pretties and things like that. So if you've got um, one of the ladies has done one for um, seeds, which I'll grab that one. Oh, and little you know, with little instructions then. Oh, so it could be man. related to gardening tips. One of the ladies has done one on cookery, cookery and bakery things. In fact, one's done out of fabric, be right up your oh, street because you love idea, fabric. Yeah. So you can really sort of mix and match it and even put little packet seeds I in there. I love it. I recognise these little fantasy <laughs> flowers. Cool, aren't they? But my daughter, when she was studying her A-level, mm -hmm. she had no end of these record cards yes, that she's jotting yeah. down little things. And in the <gasps> um, hairdressers? Hairdressers. Hairdressers. The stock has gone already, folks. Oh, my yeah. goodness. It was yeah. big stock. <laughs> it was big stock as well. Um, yeah, anywhere where you're needing to keep mm. any records. It could be um, a catalogue of your ink pads. It could be a catalogue of well, whatever mm. you've got in your stash, your dyes. Yeah. Different brands. This one's not totally dividers. finished. I'm going to be working on that. So that's part of the paper kit as well. Is it? So are these are the paper so kits that we've so got? So they're, they're the ones where it's already pre-printed and, wow. and you're adding bits to it. So I've just gone in and die cut So is that, that just cut so from one of those sheets? Yeah, we're going to play with them. And there's Robbie's double-sided. 
Yeah, double right, side I'll is there. Right, I'll pick that up. I'm going to pop that back um, Oh, grab one there. This okay. That one's Emma's. Oh, look at this. There's so many different ones. What a lovely size, though. I mean, this is perfect for you to pop into your crafty bag with yeah. any inspirational ideas. And we're doing these sometimes big things are a bit daunting to do. Do you remember yes. when we first started scrapbooking with a 12 exactly. by 12? Yeah. It was quite scary. It's a lot to you cover. go for a 6 by 6 makes it much easier. And this one's done by a lovely Sue. Ooh, and okay. she's tweaked on this and I'll explain how oh she's done because I've been goodness. asked the questions. But you can see the tabs in there yes. and she's just done them oh, so they're actually wow. pop in and pop out. Look at cool. this, this is amazing. And this is all Dolly's stash so those people out there that have bought things from us previously with the kits that are on the Chanda, she's mixed and matched. I mean one of the ca card samples that our lovely Anne Marie has done She's used one of the front covers of okay. one of our kits to make the cards. So actually using the packaging. Idea. These are cool. fabulous. All tucked away in there. Love it. And then of course you've got your little wallet you can wrap them all up in. Um, and then you can do one with tags things. as well. Ooh, like, okay. You know, like the big jump rings. We've got so many bits here. <laughs> These little fantasy elements here. Yeah, and they can just flip down. These and the best brilliant. thing about when you're doing things like this, if you don't put the holes in first, if you do do one upside down, doesn't matter. Put the hole in at the top, job done. This is it. And also with those tabs, I'm sure you'll have mm. noticed, but those kind of little label tabs there, mm -hmm. you've got them at different points along, as you can see there. So, yeah. of course, if you are using them for indexing, you can see those different tabs. It is a brilliant collection. I mean, you're getting 26 <coughs> size. You can see how you've got your four dividers here, different um, kind of uh, points where you've got that little record card element. Then you've got all sorts. You've got hearts, you've got squares, you've got arrows, you've got chevrons, you've got some fabulous scalloped edges. And I absolutely adore these swirls. These are beautiful. I know, and they're so delicate and fine. If I just grab one of the samples here, and this is oh, this look. is done out of mirror card here. Wow. And if I just, um, sorry, I think it's Anne Marie's that one. But if I just go in underneath, can you see how fine and like delicate they are? It looks like they've got wire and actually coiled oh, it's it. It's amazing when I actually die cut this out. Yeah. You know, you've had them in the past. No mm. knocking other people's dies, but technology with the die cutting has just come on leaps it and bounds. It is isn't it? And you're fiddling and about and yeah. half of it goes missing and when I got my sample piece through mum's back and I put it through my machine and I went into it and I pulled it out and I went ah! yeah. I got really giddy about it and I thought oh it cuts sorry that went down the microphone a bit yeah, too okay. much um, <laughs> but I got really giddy about a swirl because swirls to me will mix in with so many different things yeah. and you know we bring the Sandra's flowers they're yes. perfect accents to go behind that same with Beautiful. the leaves I was asked for that so I'm basically bringing things out that my customers are asking them. And I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? It's mm -hmm. bringing out those things that people have asked for. I love the papers that we're looking at here. We've got the papers available to it. Oh, wow, look at this. I know, it's amazing what people have done. So that's left for us to add bits and pieces into it. So you're just adding um, a binder on the back of there and making like a, a flip chart. Do you remember them photograph albums? That yes, you put things yeah, yeah, the like little that. pockets in yeah. there. Yeah. Um, and that's done by Beautiful. our lovely Teresa. And I couldn't do this without my design. When we first started, it was just me and Robert. Yes. And then we had our Sam, remember? And now I've got a fantastic, and that was great just having Sam, yeah. but I've got a fantastic team behind me. And, and I, I just couldn't do it. I mean, these them. designs just mm. work so well, whether you're looking at vintage images, whether you're looking at quirky, um, modern day. Yeah, um, using, the, using them as stencils to go on fabric. It's beautiful. You know, it's endless what you can do. I love it. So many different finished samples. I'm going to revisit some of these as it our progresses, but I need to let you know that already 20%, well, rapidly approaching 20% of the stock has gone. We're not even 10 minutes into the hour that's how phenomenally busy we are um, saving 15 pounds equates to one of those die sets if you're wanting yours 296 636 being that all important item number we need to show you more items because we're busy with other things as well and we do need to get to that demo area so have a little look at these touched on these a few moments ago and of course uh, Robbie had decided that it'd be a good idea to have double-sided papers and I must admit first instance I would be with you thinking to myself yeah I can only use one side yeah. but it makes sense especially if you've got lines on one side but then you've got that decoration on the other side yeah. just as we saw with those little uh, the little ones in the, that wallace so go. we're going to carry on with those so all i've done there is just quickly chuck some bits and pieces 
out of the stash of things that we've brought before on the front cover and the rest and I've not touched them just die cut them. But these are just waiting for you to put something exactly. in there aren't they exactly. and that's the key yeah. thing. That's Love it. That. Already 10% of the stock of these have gone. You're getting 20 sheets for 9 99 It's not limited to one per customer. My suggestion would be these are going so quickly perhaps go for a couple of sets of these. 991422. If you're going for the one day special you definitely need at least one set of these because these will set you up well on your way and of course you can do some of those pages yourself as well. We're going to head down to the demo area while we have a look at what we've got here from the design team. It's absolutely phenomenal. Feast your eyes on these. Absolutely mm -hmm. amazing, every single one of those. Now we're busy for the one day special, the details on your screen there. We're also busy for some of those elements individually, especially the die down at the bottom. Now, I'm going to hazard a guess, because I think some of you, you might not want to stretch to the one day special. We get that, everybody has oh, yeah. to work within a budget. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are going for the one day special and adding in an extra set of these, because when you look at them, you could actually pass, if you've got one of those larger die cutter machines, you could pass several of these through at the same time if you take them down, couldn't you? So yeah, I wouldn't well, be surprised, well, yeah. yeah. I suppose you could, but yeah. we'll, we'll put far through this, yeah, this yeah. big beast here. Um, now, if you are wanting these by themselves, you can see there you've got your um, Ultimate Ledger pages. This is die set number three. You've got six dies in total, because, of course, you've got your main pages, then you can see your eyelets in the corner there. Fourteen ninety nine. These are flying out, though. Three quarters of the stock has gone. So if you're not wanting to go for the one-day special, which includes those, obviously, with your £15 saving, do the maths. You're getting them for free in the one-day special. But if you do want them by themselves, the details are on the screen. Just do not hang around because they are going to go. They're not going to last the full hour. So if you want them, now is the time to get hold of them. Right, let's get into the swing of things. What should we do? Okay, so we'll start with the dies because that's what they are. Okay, yeah? lovely. Okay. So, shall I move the machine here? Yeah, you can yeah. do. Yeah, just get yourself comfortable with these. Okay, I've borrowed this big devil because mine's much smaller. But okay. you can obviously use them in small. But I thought I would try yes. the all four, okay. which makes it nice and easy, yes. through of the main obviously the main bit. Yeah. Now the idea of the actual ledgers, I mean where did that come from? Well when I was a kid I used to cut out small bits of paper mm. and I used to do, um, you remember the colouring books or magazines that you used to get? Yeah. I used to use a lot of those and cut them up and make confetti and things and okay. then I used to um, do um, collages yes. and things like that. But um, these dies that I've done here, for example if we bring um, this one in. Okay. The um, inspiration from the retro ones mm -hmm. came many, many years ago. I, I doodle. I, well, I, I constantly I know we've had conversations in the past because yeah. we've known yeah. each other a long time. Uh, yeah, phone books. I mean, we were talking about this earlier. You're on the phone, you sat there and you're doodling. Yeah. So, shall I bring in... We've got oh, these beautiful, are these yours at the back here? Yeah. I mean, oh my that, goodness. Okay. Bring this one in because I know it's a bit lighter. Oh, wow. I, mean, I, I went home to whip these off, off the wall. These are fabulous. These have actually been to Germany and back. Really? So quite a few years back, I was on the other side, okay. if you all know what I mean, or the dark <laughs> side. So it's several years ago, working for um, another company. Okay. And I play with products and I do what it says on the tin and then I mess around with the products and yeah. see what I can get out of it. Yeah. So these products that are on here are designed for glass and they're on fabric. Wow. And I used to teach classes of, well, these days we call it mixed media. Yeah. I turn this sort of fabric art. Oh, yeah. 
I'll and tell you this fusing. conversation with somebody else. Mixed media is something that we've known for many years. It just didn't have a name. Oh, well, it, yeah. well, it changes depending on what school, you're doing. Exactly, I remember decorating exactly. those. Um, and I know that, because we've had conversations before, because obviously people know you for your printed papers, and obviously when you work with your, your CD-ROMs and well, things. Well, the printed papers, where do you think they come from, Hayley? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And I, th I don't think people out there realise no, that you, no. you, get, you love getting messy with your Yeah, crafting. and I try to produce things for those that don't like getting messy too. Yeah. So, you know, we all want to craft. But if you look at the, if you look at this piece in particular, um, I do a lot of squares on the three pieces that I've pulled yeah. off the walls. So I rushed back from Manchester last night, pulled these off the walls um, and my books and that. Jesus. And it was really wow. good fun because when I was rooting in the lift, in the lift, in the loft, <laughs> I found all sorts of bits and pieces. Oh and my I thought, goodness, you started oh, something what's, else. Yeah, what's coming next? So I went, oh yeah, brilliant. Oh, so it was that. good fun. I didn't want to do it at the time, but yeah. I thought, yeah, oh, you know, oh, I get distracted so easy. So you see down at the bottom here, yeah. this is actually oh, part yes. of um, the retro um, squares that are in there. And they and are literally like little doodles, as you say. Oh, come on, I yeah. haven't invented the wheel, I've not invented the square. <laughs> retro, <laughs> retro squares have been out but there on pajamas, yeah, yeah. on the mum's curtains. Oh, gosh, I remember yeah. having, um, one of my friends had dungarees, yeah. you know, they're out there and that. But it's something that works extremely well yeah. with Alice. We're known for um, doing the Alice and bringing them out. But Beautiful. yeah, this, this has been, yeah, over I to Germany and back. And the same with the well. other ones as well. Yeah. So that's a... Oop. I've seen a side to you that I didn't know. I didn't know about Well, it's artist. actually been... Um, I've actually haven't been round to your house, so I wouldn't, would I? No, many people, <laughs> have, many people have seen it because it's one of those sort of touchy-feely things. It's beautiful. Um, and the other ones as well, I could bring, like... I don't know if see, you can see that one as well. Can we see, you see this with one the only? squares? Charmaine, come Sorry, towards me, darling. Mm -hmm. You come towards me. There you go. But have a look at I mean, this is the kind of thing that you would see in an art gallery. We've got the lights bouncing oh, off it, so pleasure. apologies for this. And dirty fingers. Is. I don't do much cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you can see in the corner there, you know, again, the purpley bit, there, you can yeah, see where, right where my retro sort of squares yeah. come from. But that's from my childhood. I've been brought up with us. Yeah. My mum was definitely a 60s chick. We've got to do some work. Yeah. I'd love to Let's stand and have a chat like this all day. Because, uh, I mean, I could listen to you chatting about this for hours. But, yeah, we're going we to need get, to get a on. on Let's, Let's make some fun. Um, one day special over a third's gone. Right, let's carry on. Crack on. And okay. gone. So you've got... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can we go up that. early? Can't say that, I can, I can say, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't say the other one. I said you goodness. Did. I said goodness. You did. Okay, I did, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that means I've got to watch it on rewind. Sorry if I said the other one. Yeah, apologies if she said anything she shouldn't have said. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what we're we working with, what card stock, what weight? Right, this is, um, I brought this one because this was on the website. This is a, um, a 250 mm -hmm. and this is one of our pearl essence. Shall okay. I do something thicker, Hayla? I don't mind, it's up to you. Right, we'll crank it through with this with one because then we can have some pages then to play with. Wonderful. So this is a 250 double sided pearl essence. I'm going to shut that through to start off with. I was going to want to just press a button because this, <laughs> this is so big. And it is big, brilliant. Big. Now, of course, if you are working with your die cutting machines and you're wanting to work with an A4 sheet with all of those elements in there, then you, you do need one of those larger machines. But of course, the beauty is if you do want to divide those dies up, you can do, can't you? You don't have to keep them together. No, really. not at all. I mean, the you one, that, shall we move it over? Yeah, the, it one that, the one that I work on, and I will, I'll bring that in because I'll work on that one as well. Okay. Because my little, little one in comparison, uh. I thought this was big until I saw that one. <laughs> but that's the size of mine. It's half yeah. the size of that. And that's what I've been working on. Yeah. I had that on my knee in the van on the way down. I saw the Dicot. pictures. Yeah, I, you know what I'm like? It's like a confetti storm on the floor. <laughs> the footwell is there for Robert to sweep up because I didn't do it. <laughs> but I know I'm Oh, look at this. In one pass, you've got four there. All cut and ready to go. No, I've never used that one before, so that's the first time. That so that's that's your main pages. You do get the little um, the little holes. Like the eyelets. So if you, you have them, hole. but then if you have got a hole punching machine, you might find it easier to line them up. Yeah, since I must so admit, I'd probably go down that route and do that. And do and just bang yeah. them all together like so. Where's it gone? That way around. That's the top one. Put that one there. And that's there the start of go. it. And then when you get your next one and you put some more through, you can keep building it up. So I personally, but I needed to put them in for those that didn't have. Yeah. Put your, your holes either top and bottom here or just at the top, whatever your choice is. But I tend to decorate first yeah. and punch out the holes when I decide what I'm going to do with yeah. that. Because I don't always have a plan. Me okay, too. does that make sense? It does indeed. Right, okay. Familiar, familiar. So that's the four, four dice. Wonderful. So 
So they're the, ma the main pieces that we're going to be working on. Let's pop those back in there, right? Okay, thank you very much, my lovely assistant. <laughs> and if That's I right. come in and die cut some other bits and pieces. Okay. Have we finished with the big machine? Shall we move that out of the way? Yeah. So you've got a bit more space now. It is big enough. You like, you're in your comfort zone with your own machine. I might now. have to get one of them. <laughs> they are good. <laughs> right, okay, so if I just, just to show you how easy these come out. So I'll just work with a, a black now. Lovely. And... I will take the oh my goodness I'll throw it over so this is one of the retro dies approaching half the stock of the one day special oh gone. my goodness thank you ever so much I'm glad you're liking what Not even I'm half doing past the hour. this wasn't meant to happen <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness we are so busy Ooh. What have you done to us, John? It's like a warm packing, doesn't it? You've got a busy, busy yeah, few days ahead of you. There is just the two of us, and I do call the kids in the cage, and, like, and, and they're not like little kids, so it's slave labour. They are like 20, 27, and, and t no, 26 and 27. I love that disclaimer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. What, one of the things that I like about this is if you've got that double-sided tape, yes. you can take that over and then if you want to do the oh, you know, paper, piecing. paper yeah. piecing, you can pull that out. But if you, if you can't be bothered with doing that, I'm not a uh, some of the girls piecing, have done that, yeah. but if you can't, let's take that out. Shall we move that to one side so yeah, you can see this? Here. So we won't, won't do too much to this because you can see oh, that. Oh, look at the pieces falling out. But if you do this in like a metallic cardstock, it almost looks like a chain. It does, know, yeah. it does. It looks really metallic, doesn't it? And of course, you could use that as a stencil as well, which we have you done could. in some of the pieces. Um, and stick it down on acetate, you could almost put your crystal lacquers in each of those little <gasps> wells wow. there. Oh, they? yeah. yeah, that'd just be awesome. And I've got, you can, you know, flick these bits out. And I have got like a, ah, oh, there he is, my pokey tool. I don't know where my thread's gone from him, but oh, okay. you take your pokey tool out of there. And I'm guessing you can, you can snip into this and make it, obviously, you've got your full run there, but if you wanted mm -hmm. it small, Smaller pieces, you could snip in yeah, wherever you want. Yeah, you can just cut. Shall we just shall we start to make something? Because yeah, I've got some bits, so you can see how then. And then we'll have to. We're definitely after now. These come like this. Can you see? Right. With these little yes, links little in. And yeah. when I left that one in, and I've actually been die cutting it with with those in. Um, I just found it mm -hmm. easier. But when you want to, you know, if you want to remove them, you just bend them away like That's that, easy and you can bend them. So oh you don't right. even need sort of a pliers on yeah. that one. Some of them out there, um, you have pliers. Mm -hmm. I quite liked. No, I've just taken it apart, but <laughs> I quite liked it together because it meant I can put them through. Um, well, sorry, do you you want, can't anymore. <laughs> do you want? Do you want to have a go? At, I don't um, mind. What would you like die to cutting one out? of those while yeah. I get some bits out for us to play? Um, do you want to? What we've got? We've got turquoise. So mm -hmm. let's go purple. I think so. You want to? I'm not cutting a faffing about. I'm just going to. I'll tear off. Okay. Um, the plates are there. Lovely. You it's just plates? one of those. I've only got one plate. Oh, yeah. Oh, the vanishing clear plate. Oh, there you go. I think it's underneath your darker card. Ah. I'm like this at home as well. I put anything clear, a ruler disappears. Okay. So you want to put one of those through, Lovely. and we'll start to make something else. So I'm just going to work on some pearlescent to start off with, and then I'm going to do some inking and things on playing cards. And what did I need? Glue. Glue. Wrong glue, right glue. Okay, so I have got some bits done. Wonderful. So because it's quite fine detail, if you don't want to um, put glue on the back of your hand, put it on your glass mat or somewhere else. Glass mat don't belong to me, so <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to use. I'm going to use my hand. Oh, I thought you meant you didn't care, so that's why you're going to use it. Put no, the glass no. on. <laughs> put the glue on there. Come on, why is my glue not coming out? I find Are you bummed glue. up, love? Yeah. And then I'll chop the end off, and then it'll come rushing out. <laughs> I don't feel like it's got on the end. Oh my goodness! Oh, better. Are they gorgeous? Wow! Oh, oh my goodness! Now these have cut out because you've got those curly cues. When you've got there. the little springs, you yeah. kind of just like put your hands underneath and just like pop slowly, slowly. Oh, yeah. Look at these. And you can see it's sort of springing out. I'm gonna put my glasses on. I actually, quite like. Do any damage. I quite like um, just slowly releasing those. And it's quite quite therapeutic, and it's not too fussed. But I like the fact that it does that coily whirly whirly whirly. Does what? A coily whirly whirly whirly. <laughs> it's in the dictionary, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Well, it should be. It's in Charmaine's it dictionary. It should be. It's not. Okay, oh, get look me at that. Little bits. Oh my Just, goodness! Do you see what I mean? It, it gives it dimension. That is. Does that's the right that? word. That is fabulous. It's cool, isn't it? It's so fine. And that's just regular card, so it's double-sided, um, which makes it perfect because, of course, you haven't got to worry about a white side to it. Yeah, and then you can just glue part of it and have part of it coming off because I've used a double-sided. And you can leave the whirly-whirlies 
as we're going to call them. <laughs> and I love this because it reminds me of those fabulous flowers. I think that was the last time I worked with you when we got the, I think it was the stamps, or it might have been a CD, Rob, with all those kind of quirky flowers with the personalities. The stamps, yeah, I've got yeah. that there with me. There with me. They'll be in uh, some of these samples here because the girls can't leave them alone. <laughs> and we do like to, sh you know, not just show you samples when we come to the show. We like to carry on showing you what else you can do yes, with what you've yeah. got as well because you don't just use it once, do you? And it, well, this is it. And there's a, a good point made there that um, you have got a Facebook group. So if you have never invested in any of the Dolly Dimples bits and pieces before, then it is a fabulous resource of ideas. Many of the finished samples you'll see here, you'll be able to get inspiration from via that Facebook group. And there's a whole wealth of people there that will help you out. So if you get stuck or you're looking for inspiration, you will certainly be in the right place. You'll be amongst friends that will help you on your way. Yes, they all chat amongst themselves and show each other ideas. Everything that my girls put up on that Facebook page is there as inspiration. If you want to reproduce, even if you wanted to reproduce it exactly the same as what they've done, fine, we find that flatterer. That's what it's there for. If you want to tweak with it and do um, different things, great, go ahead. Um, please do share because that's how we all learn with things. Do, you look sure. in your stash and think, oh yeah, I've got some of that, or I've got something very similar mm -hmm. and can do it. And that's what we like. You can mix and match with things you've already got. And then, you know, another bits and pieces. Yeah. So you can see, I'm building up with a couple of the little bits here. Shall we add that to it as Lovely. well? You can do exactly what you want, but I want to get inky with some stamps. Okay, no problem at all. Um, continuing to be busy with the one day special, we've got the details up on the screen. Don't forget you've got 26 dies in there, including the four dies that are going to give you these fabulous um, tabbed pages for you to build them and create whatever you like with them. Um, they have now sold out by themselves. We did have them available. We knew they wouldn't last long. So the only way you can get hold of them is within your one day special. Good news is though, um, they were originally 14 dollars and your savings £15 so it's not like you're paying for them anyway because within the one day special you've got that £15 saving. Two flexi buy payments if you don't want to go for it all in one go um, but overall the price of £44.96 is a brilliant price. 26 dies. You've got loads of fabulous elements in there as you can see. So you've got those swirls that have just been cutting out some gorgeous foliage, some beautiful kind of primitive star hearts in there. Um, you've got your chevrons, you've got ovals, you've got some fabulous little rectangles in there and scallop edges as well it really is a bumper bundle of dyes that you can be able to use in so many different ways right this is the one that we that we started okay. so i started that one Lovely. and i can leave that blank to add bits and pieces or i can add to it so it's not just my handwriting okay. or whatever i want to do and the other one that i want to grab Haley, is a really big chunky one Mm -hmm. Just there. That one? Yeah, because we'll play and add Oops. bits to that because I've got part done bits. So okay, I've anything that, that we want to so die cut if you way. want to go have a play as well. And I'm going to get some inks out as well. Wonderful. Um, we're busy as well for those papers at the bottom of your screen. Um, this is that first set that I shared with you. 70% of the stock of that one has gone. And this is where you've got those double-sided papers. I think a lot of you are going for two lots of that because you're realising just how useful they'll be. Don't forget to check out that other paper pack. We haven't had a chance to show you, but you've got all sorts of kind of clocks in there. There's background papers. Those kind of um, weathered wood-looking papers, they're all in that one as well. So do look on the website before you check your basket out because these are incredible useful papers to have as well um, and these are three quarters of the stock of these have gone oh, um, so is this the yeah these are the, the ones with the, the distress ledger pages you've actually got a template so if you're not into your die cutting and you're looking at these thinking oh I wish I could get that effect but I don't have a die cutting machine with this one you have got the template but three quarters of the stock has gone so if you want really? them that way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want them that way, well, it's then good really be because you know that some people don't use die cutting right. machines. Yeah. That makes sense. So. No, and I like to, you know, give the same, you know, the You've variety. Got bands around your acrylic block. But yeah, well, it's just giving me a bit of texture on there, so oh, I'm just I putting. Like that idea. I'm just putting a little bit of. Um, What's it called? Ink on there. So I'm using the ease inks because I love them and they're dinky and they're, got, and they're really, really juicy and they're not really expensive and I like that sort of thing. So. Pretty cool, like aren't that. it? Well, I I'm going to steal that way. idea, I like it. Oh, God, it's been ancient. I haven't invented that, I tell you. And well, there's not many things that you... Uh, nah. When you've been in the craft industry as many years as you and I... Are you saying I'm old? Man, man <laughs> and boy. Man <laughs> and boy. <laughs> so I'm just giving it a bit of texture in the background. I mean, do you remember the bubble wrap one? Yeah. Yeah, bubble wrap. Oh, you've got them all in there. Oh, yeah, this is my box of bits. <laughs> so if I get um, a bit of pink in there... 
And see, from this, that's where kind of gel plates have evolved, haven't they, yeah. really? But these are the kind of yeah. things that we were doing years, years, and years ago, ago yeah, when we yeah. didn't have these. So, I mean, you can do these techniques on direct onto a gel plate. Yeah. So, I mean, this is how you see your bubble wrap there. That. It's already there in the bubble wrap. Yeah. So you can add more to it if you like doing that. Yeah. If you don't, you can just go for just it as it, it is. is. So that's just a carrier bag. I'm sure we've got carrier bags. Yeah, All the ones that cost us 5p. Yeah, might as well use them for crafting. Packaging, a bit of bubble wrap. What colour shall we go? Should we add another colour to it? It's got two. Go for a third colour. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of a darker brown, you Good know. Good idea. So we go for the. The. <laughs> the. Well, it's just Tay. Because they're all French no. names, aren't they? Yeah, it's in? the for me. Yeah, I was going to say it looks like the. <laughs> the. <laughs> when I first read it, that's what I thought, the. <laughs> right, there we go. Oh, nice. Just warms it up a bit. And then. I'll Look do at bit, that. Do just stuff that you've got around the house. Yeah, it don't cost much, does that? Yeah. Uh, in my box of tricks. Lovely. And put that back. Put it on there. And get back in, you little devil. <laughs> we go in there. And now I'm going to use. Oh, who's this? My Mad Hatter. Oh, okay. Okay, so there's a couple of Mad Hatters. So this is out the Vintage Alice collection. Right. So we'll stick in. So I'm just going to. Oh, we've got a couple of different sets of stamps, haven't we, on the show? Yes. I think we've yeah. got the Vintage Alice. I think, is that the one that we bought up? And we've got yeah. the Autumn Oh, we've got the Autumn Diet. That's your one day special. Oh, it, it's, 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 been <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it is. It keeps popping back up again. Once it's moment, <laughs> moments of glory. Um, this is what I wanted to tell you about your vintage Alice stamps. Have a look at this, you're getting loads of these. You can see there you've got seven <coughs> stamps, really <coughs> good size stamps. Then we're looking at roughly A6 size with these ones, 49 pounds and 93 pence. Look at the saving, 27 pounds. Again, you've got um, two plexis on this one um, of 24 pounds and 97 pence, but these will become favorites. Classic designs there that lend themselves so well and they just fit in perfectly with you one day special 806254 we have got another set but we'll tell you about those a little bit later on jump onto the website if you want to check them out first then yeah you can make to sell with the alice it's oh out, yeah it's, out, it's, that, yeah. it's out of copyright i don't i don't sell anything that you can't make to sell because okay. well, it's I easier yeah. it's easier if you know that pick yeah. up anything from Dolly Dimples and you can make and sell. Yeah. It just keeps it simple. I mean, I'm always asked that question. I keep meaning to put it up on our mm -hmm. website and that. But I just don't ask you to... Like if you've got one of our CD-ROMs, for example, if you're printing something from you have to make it into... Printing is my oh, job, yeah. yeah. You have to make, physically no make it into it. You know, if you've got a template, template from us, you cut it out, you make it up, make it yeah. up into an item, stick something on it and you can sell it. What do you think? It's a bit I funky, isn't it? I like so it. So it's just giving him a little bit of character there. Now let's there. lift it out of there because yeah. with the, your backing page, mm -hmm. page, we can't oh. quite see it there, that's <laughs> all. That's right, looking a little bit messy there. And then I would just add, add a bit of colour to him. And that's brilliant because that foundation was just that cardstock that we were talking about earlier on. And then the colour has been added. So although um, it's ready to go, you don't have to do anything to it. You, you can add it, your own colours. So if you want to incorporate a little bit of that turquoise to match those dividers that you've got there. And of course on the back there, you've got your little line. So if you want to do your journaling, you can flip it over and away you go. There you go, Dolly. Okay, so I'm just going to give him a little bit of colour on his hat. Okay. What do you tend to work with? Do you like to use your marker pens or watercolour? <laughs> Any, whatever you put anything, your hand on. <laughs> anything. I use alcohol pens. Um, I use watercolour. I use. I like alcohol pens because they're much, much quicker. You know, they're instantly dry. Yes. I use wax pencils. Okay. I use acrylic paints. I've used oil, pastels, um, any, any medium, any medium. I won't say I'm a master at any of them, but I just play in... But you know, that's enjoy. what crafting's about, isn't it? It's just yeah. about having a feel for, for some of those products and just, just letting it flow, really. Uh, did you craft as a child? Always, yeah. Really? Yeah, I was given my first pair of scissors after I grabbed the um, dressmaking scissors. And <gasps> oh, Yeah, you know no. what's coming next, oh, yeah, confetti stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I was taught, and it was one of these things, if you said to me as a child, no, I want yeah. to know why. Why not? Yeah. Why can't I? So were you one of these children a bit like me where you, you could, just couldn't wait for the washing up bottle to be ended because um, you, you cut it up and use it for something else in a doll's house or something like that? <laughs> I'd use lots of washing up liquid. <laughs> <laughs> I would you help wash up egg to get rid of the, to get rid of that washing and up egg liquid. Boxes, that was another thing. Oh, we used to craft yes, yes, yeah. I still, well actually, believe it or not, I actually still use things like that. Yeah. 
I know. I um, remember making that furniture for my Cindy doll using egg boxes. Shoe boxes. Yeah, yeah shoe, shoe boxes, boxes as well, with yeah. the bird. Yeah, we didn't have grandma's place. We didn't have the money for that. So I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just adding a little bit of colour to his hat, and I'm going back in when I work with the um, alcohol pens. I usually do everything twice. Like you're taking, the, you know, telling the other half to go and empty the rubbish bin. You've got to tell them twice, aren't you? Yeah. So that's me, Maura. You won't remember nothing. that. I've um, upset Robbie uh, enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> keeping, trying to keep on his good side. <laughs> I was, uh, I'll blame her. Like was Haley. She told me to say. I will get blamed for everything. I don't mind. I've got so, broad shoulders. Uh, oh, my glasses are steaming up. Ooh, hot stuff. <laughs> eh? Steaming windows. So I'm, I'm just going to leave that as is. I like and that. And I'll go in and, and I'll add in. Um, I do need. I have gone over the edges. I can see that. Hopefully, I admit that I've chucked it over the edges. But then I'm on camera. Yeah, uh, and off. I will just go in with my blender pen to push that back. Mm -hmm. So knock that back and tidy it up and maybe go around again with dark lines. I know it needs adding to, so I will add to it and I'll just keep adding bits to just various different ones. So we're just going to keep going And this with is them. it, because with those dyes, you've got so many elements, 26 dyes within that uh, one day special. Uh, if you think about it, 22 of the dyes are dyes that you could actually use for your embellishments. Even the little tiny holes that you've got that you would usually use with the record cards, you could actually use those as putting down little dots on your projects. Rapidly approaching two thirds of the stock has gone though. So if you're wanting yours, you need those details that are on your screen 296636. Um, I will step away from Charmaine in a few minutes to give you a little bit of a recap because I know it's when we stand and watch and uh, we get really drawn into those um, demonstrations, sometimes we forget to do things like check out our baskets. And when we're talking about the quantity that have flown out already, I don't want anybody to miss out on this one. So uh, when Charmaine gives me the nod. It gives me a chance to find the bits that I don't know where I've put them. OK. <laughs> is that, is, that was a good time. Is that the, oh, is that the elbow like you're giving me? Yeah, go on, get <laughs> down the line. Onto the yeah. so I'm going to let Charmaine get us out ready. i next thing, can't Perfect, I? sounds good to me. Um, so, yeah. Needless to say, it's busy. We knew it would be busy. So many of you love what um, Dolly Dimples bring to us, and I think that is key. You were waiting for this one day special to happen, and the moment we went live, we were busy. We were busy before we even started, to be fair. You can see there on your screen those ledger pages. Forget about that, they've gone, they've sold out. If you want to know, you need to get hold of the one day special. We're busy for those ledger pages. Those are what um, we've just been using, those 20 sheets alongside, obviously, the one day special. If you're wanting those, again, they're getting more and more vulnerable if you're wanting them. The stamps as well, everything is flying out. You're loving everything that Charmaine's brought to us and I love it. But the one day special, that is where we started the hour. So I think it's only right that we revisit it. Of course, those dies at the top there, as I've mentioned, and I'm going to mention it again and again, you can't get hold of these individually. I think this is the core. This is where that whole story starts because this is going to create your pages, your dividers, maybe your covers of your mini journals with these, of your storage systems. They have a practical use as well. But then you've got the decoration. So whether it's the hearts, the arrows, the chevrons that you're putting in place here, whether it's the swirls or those fabulous rectangles that you can see that they're kind of intermingled and locked together it doesn't matter which element you use you are going to get phenomenal results not just with those little tabs there but say about this here box exploding box I'm guessing when I take the lid off here but you can see how those swirls lend themselves so well around there so look what we've got inside Ooh, now lots of you will relate to these because you will have all these fabulous stamps already. This is the thing that I love. You can see how you've got the swirls on these stamps here. They lend themselves so well to those dies that we're looking at there as well. So that's one example of how you can use them. But of course, the little record cards making those ledger pages absolutely perfect. As few or as many of these you could be creating. Make them into little purses almost with these. Make them into little storage boxes where you are kind of cataloging ele um, elements. They could be mini recipe cards. They could be a catalogue of your dies with the different companies that you, different brands that you've got on there. With them logged in there. So so as if you're going off to an exhibition, you could take that with you. You can't take all your dies, you can't take all your stamps, but what you could do is perhaps take those record cards or even take them out of there and pop them into a little, a couple of rings and away you go with them. So many fabulous finished stamp samples here as well. Um, I mean, what can I share with you? The here again, you've got your little planner here with your little tabs on the side there. You have got the tabs that are going to be included because you've got the die that will allow you to cut those out. And again, there you can see your days of the week there planning your week ahead but again decorating those and of course on the back there you've got the elements that you can pop down your appointments pop down where you're going where you need to be but 
in addition, <laughs> you have got these. Now, that's a bit of a challenge. Can I go through an hour without knocking anything over? I think we all know the answer to that question, and that'll be a resounding no. But have a look at this. I love it. I love the way those hearts, almost like a primitive star heart. And this is the thing that I love about it because you've got there almost like a patchwork effect, very much a home kind of crafted um, stitched together heart. But then it works with the retro rectangles, two completely different styles, but it works. It works. And again here, using them as those solid black outlines there, but then the hearts being used there to open it up. You've also got that die that will allow you to create these fabulous little elements, as you can see there here. Um, adding those swirls, adding those backgrounds, using them alongside stamps that you've got, absolutely phenomenal results over and over again. And you are loving them. Simple as you're loving them. Details on your screen there. Um, 296 636 if you're wanting these two flexi buys of £22 and 48 pence. Don't go looking for these. You can't find these on their own only as part of your one day special and the 14.99 that you would have spent on these is your saving you're getting those as a bonus that's why you need to have a look at some of those other items to treat yourself to these perhaps the pages now these are brilliant these are such a clever idea because you've got a double-sided print with these. So you can see with these here, you've got obviously your focal print there with that kind of um, aged look on there with the, the little st um, stains on there. It looks like it's been, this is the quality you've got there. That is not actually stitched. That is printed on that page. But then on the reverse, you've got those lines, the lines where you can have your record keeping if you're wanting to, or your journaling, whatever you want to um, pop onto those pages, then you can do. They are all there ready for you to add your details. 20 sheets you're getting for $9.99. Um, you're also getting um, your playing card stock in there as well. So you're really getting a good bumper bundle in here, but it's flying out. 80% of the stock has gone. We had huge quantities of these. We know how you love that card stock from Dolly Dimples because it's always such incredible um, quality and value. If you're wanting these, please do consider going for more than one set because I've got a feeling you'll go for one of these sets and I've done it myself. I've gone for one. I think, no, I'm going to go for one. I'm going to be good. I'm just going to go for one. And then all through the night until tomorrow morning, you'll be thinking, maybe I should have gone for two. And then by the time you come back in the morning, it'll have gone. So my suggestion for you, if you want a good night, you don't, you don't want to be up all night thinking, I wish I'd gone for two, go for two now. 991422 if you're wanting these, brilliant value for money, pop them into your basket. And finally, I just need to tell you about these because we appreciate that many of you out there won't have your die cutting machine. So the one day special won't be of interest to you, but the record cards will be. And that's why you've got this set. Now within this set, you've got multiple pages where you've got those little record cards all ready to go. You can see this is where the inspiration comes came from this is where Charmaine's um, ladies and gentlemen in the crafting groups were working with these but they wanted a quicker way of actually getting those record cards cut out rather than taking their scissors and their craft knives to them they wanted dies now you could use the dies alongside these they might not cut perfectly because of course you've got that lining up you may have a little kind of extra almost some um, offset layer with those but just get your inks involved make it look as if it's part of those you're going to get multiples of these just going through a few of these to show you them but you can see down at the front you have got repeats of these you're also going to have your clocks and these are brilliant you've got them printed on paper so they're perfect for you to actually adhere to your mdf to put them onto your tags to put them onto your projects in fact some of these you will use in loads and loads of different ways now this one here this is your template so keep this one true and use this one to draw around if you're wanting to create more of those pages and again you've got your card stock in here you've got loads of papers you've got loads of inspiration too you have got absolutely loads have a look here this is what you're getting within here you're getting loads so you've got your altered pages in here to start with so you can see you've got your two alter me ledger pages those are your templates they're on 300 gsm and you can see that you've got one with a single hole and one one's um, double sided um, you've got your 30, 32 distressed ledger pages in there 32 of the double sided binder hole pages there 128 tabs you've got 15 ovals 10 sheets of the, how can we get all this for 17.99 24 of those distressed clock faces and you've also got your flower pinwheels your backing papers you've got your word sheets and your gold effect um, ring pull I don't know where I put those they were on here earlier on they're in a little bag but you're getting loads just for 17.99
that's why it's so popular 896 785 if you are wanting this bumper bundle please take advantage of it while you've got the opportunity loads more to share with you we've touched on some of those stamps we've got two sets of stamps that are flying out as well and of course we've got the inspiration from the design team to help you choose what you want to add to your basket Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. They've done a fantastic job. I love this. Oh, we forgot to mention the Facebook winner. Oh, <gasps> we forgot. <gasps> there was a competition. We're and supposed I to do that straight it. away, weren't we? Well, we got chatting about artwork. Where and did stuff, I put the stamps we? anyway? You got a stamp bundle. Oh, yeah, they're there. Have we got them? Yep. You go have them. Sorry, I'm now, running off. Yeah, we had um, a competition. I'm sorry, I should have told you right at the beginning. I completely forgot. Um, we had a Facebook competition, um, and the prize was all of these. Yeah. Oh my word, you've got loads in it. 135 stamps, is that? Or pounds <laughs> worth? Pounds worth. Yeah, pounds worth. Wow. Oh, that's actually over 135 pounds worth. Oh my and goodness. I know when I sell them on my website, it's over that. And one person has won all these? Yes. <gasps> Who's won it? <laughs> Who's won it? Martina. Tidball, Martina, Tidball, you, um, you got in touch um, via, well, it's our Facebook page. I think it was a kind of a, a comment and share or like or something it was like just, that I kind of thing. I think it was just like and comment. Oh, okay. Just like and it. comment. Yeah, yeah, so many people were sharing the I page. I don't even look because I'm not allowed to enter, so. I know it's mean, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm sulking. So there <laughs> we go. Um, but congratulations. Uh, these will be on to your, um, on their way to you now. Um, I'm guessing that somebody will be in touch for your um, postal address. If not, I'll look after them for you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we up to? <laughs> right, we'll be playing with those um, okay. in one of the other shows as well. Lovely. So, like tomorrow, maybe eight o'clock. I don't know which one it is. Okay. But in one of the shows, we'll be playing with those with these as mm -hmm. well. So, um, if you're watching, <laughs> you'll be able to see what you can do with there them. There you go. We won't actually use yours, though. <laughs> no. Charmaine will use her own. Use my own. Yeah, I've got my own step. So, I think I'm greedy. I think I've got two. So, <laughs> I work, so where you were still, well, I call it down the line, <laughs> I was just merrily die cutting out. Okay. So, I've got, I'm going to do a few more. So, I've got a 300 gram, um, what's it called? Black card. Lovely. Yeah, double sided that we've brought on before. I don't know if it's still on the, on the, the website, website or not. Yeah. But you can see it's got through core. So, I stick that through the machine Lovely. and I've die cutted some of the chevron. Wonderful. And the um, now I can't see what there it is. And what I want to do is kind of make up a stencil as well. So oh, I see. And okay. then I got distracted because I do. I go off on a tangent. I start one thing and then it turns into something else and then it turns into something else. Sign of a crafter. Yeah. And just, <laughs> oh yeah. And you know, it, uh, sometimes it's when I when I might actually make mistakes. Mm. Um, the mistakes end up turning into different things. I have yeah. told you about colouring one of my toadstool girls and. No, she, well, she started so. off looking a bit John John I think okay. is the word. Yeah. And then she looked like she'd got a spray tan. And then, <laughs> and then in the end, I carried on with her and changed her up. The girls were laughing at me because it just kept changing. But I wanted to throw her in the bin, and she ended it up looking like um, a, um, like a, I would say an ethnic lady, okay, you know, that nice, much, much yes, dark skin. Yeah. And I've never, never, ever done that. But I wrote all the colours down that I use. But the thing and now is, I know, now I know you how know to do. Yeah, yeah, now the so combination. So if you want to get that skin tone yeah, again, you yeah. know exactly and where to And I was throwing mistakes because it started off, she mm. looked very, very yellow, like, you know, new, yeah. newly born babies. So uh, do I do like making mistakes. And it's good to kind of keep little notes of how you, how you kind of evolved to create that. Things like record cards are perfect for that. And you, yeah. you can, on one side of the record card, maybe have 
a stamp or a technique mm -hmm. or an idea and on the other side you could kind of jot down how you got to that final result and your color combos yes color combos yeah. is, is a really good one when mm -hmm. you're picking up certain colors if you're anything like me i forget yeah and i, I just like playing if and if the color turns into mud then obviously I'm going to whack in some brown and some yes. maroons and it's going to be mud yeah. with some more mud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I might vibe it up with a slashing in yeah. a bit of turquoise because yeah. at the moment I've got a turquoise thing. Yeah. So what I've got here, I'm actually wanting the negative, not those bits, but oh, I do okay. want those bits for something else. Right. So I've used some... Um, some paints on here and right. done a sort of a messy background on okay. there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the top with um, some black ink so I'm actually going to use this as a as a stencil and I'm using these inks okay. and I'm just going to go in there you can use you know you can use whatever you want but I'm going to use this what's it called the chevrons mm -hmm. as, a, as a stencil it's a good idea this and because I'm not going to um, do it heavy, heavy black, mm -hmm. really, really dark. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the black ones, which are going to be darker. Yeah. Over the um, in there as well, so mixing in, and then I'll add some of the arrows in. Now, what I did to the one, where's the one that I was working on before you, you went down? I don't know. Or is it the back of that one? No, it's not the back of that one. It was here somewhere. Oh, super organised. Things just disappear. It's magic. I think it's. Is it the one with the, the mud ah, matter on? Yeah, I bet, I bet that's I bet it's on the back it is. Is the back side of it. I added I did the same thing with the um arrows. Oh I see. see there, yeah. I had Pointing to have two there. I had to have two arrows, one going one way and yeah. one going the other way. And the reason why I want, wanted that because not because I wanted it, because I turned around and said, well, surely you can punch out one and you can turn it the other mm -hmm. way around. But the die cutter said, no, Charmaine, because you get an edge on it. And you I do. thought, yes, you're right. And then I thought, if I die cut the two, then I can glue them together and I'll have the perfect edge on it you as will, well. yeah, on both <sighs> sides. But they're dead fussy, aren't they? So I had to you have two. You can say that on <laughs> 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 Well, you know, crafters in general, we have, we a, just cer like we it have right. a, a certain way. We Some do. people like certain things a certain way. So I had to have the two made. Mm -hmm. And of course, I could relate to the... Um, the leaves because I want one going one way and one going yeah. the other way and then when I put them through the die cut machine when I got the prototype I thought yeah because if I turn that round and I do it out of my beautiful pattern papers mm -hmm. yeah one's curved and one's like rough looking yeah does that make yeah. sense yeah, yeah that's you're trying I'm to get like to a say. beveled edge on mm. one side and then of course that bevel's got to go somewhere so it comes out the other side I don't know can we see that we can yeah it's black white and white shoes yeah, getting absolutely I don't know whether you'll be able to see really the kind hard. of little beveled edge. But I know black what is we a can do. difficult one for us to show yeah, you. Yeah, maybe I'll do with the pattern one later, but I can go away because you can use the actual die. Just, and sometimes if you cut metallic cardstock, you'll see it, won't you, with that like kind of, it's almost like yeah. a little tiny edge on there. There is there is an edge on there, but I can do it with a mink and I'll probably do that. Don't I can worry. do that later. Well, we've not Let's got move long on. in this hour. So has it gone so yeah, fast? It has, yeah, we've been having too much. Should we get some five minutes left? Get some stamping on there then. Okay. Right, so we've we've done we've done wee little Mad Hatter on there, running man. And get that in there. And just pop that one down there. And what shall we have on it? I don't know. We've got um, two die sets to, to choose from because there's lots of dies. Um, we looked at the Vintage Alice earlier on. Yep. Um, are we working with the Vintage Alice again this time around? Yeah, I'm just going to stick Alice down at the bottom there, but I'm going to okay. make sure, oh, that's a back one. So I'm going to pop her down there. Lovely. Good size stamps, pop these. They are, but you don't need the whole image. Yeah. So, no. It's up to you what you want to do the old image. Okay. I'm just going to do a little bit of the image. Um, so we've got the details on the screen again for those vintage Alice stamps. Should we very quickly show them to you, just so as you know what's in there? We saw the Mad Hatter a few moments ago, which is one of your landscape stamps. But then, of course, you've got your Alice in the different poses there. You've got um, your, uh, where am I? You've got also your, um, your white hair. I was going to say your, your mad hair, but it's not, isn't it? It's your Mad Hatter. W white, white, white rabbit, Mad Hatter. You've white got, rabbit, you've that's got one mixed which up. has got like one shoe on, one shoe off. Mm -hmm. You've got the Alice oh, with the flamingo. The you've got the playing well. cards as well um you've got the i'm late in there yeah but otherwise to us it's there's alice and alice there's the rabbit and um, there's whether you call him the white rabbit or the mad rabbit that's yeah. what <laughs> some people call but i think he's absolutely brilliant really and then there's a few of the um mad hatter there is, yeah. We've got another set of stamps as well and um, so do check those should we have a quick look at those just so you've got choices or we'll do it in a minute we'll see should we do it They're now? Should we website. do it later? We'll do it later. <laughs> They're there. They're on the website. <laughs> right, okay, so if I add the arrows then, 
do, 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 with glue. And the other thing that's there is there's a frame and there's a heart. Okay. Now the heart, if I bring the heart in, originally, if you go for this one, do you remember my uh, Mix It Up CD run yes, that I brought? Yes, yeah. Um, originally, um, that was on the Mix It Up CD run, oh. and then we had it on the stamps as well, yeah. where they had the little lines mm -hmm. doing it. And of course, I'm not brilliant with knowing how to do the die so mm -hmm. I had the um, pleasure of working alongside jo John Lockwood yeah. and him filling me with the right information a couple of years ago Fascinating uh, and about how to on them. the computer yeah. he's, he's so fast with that me and pencil and paper he's like tw -tw 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 with his go. traffic lights and, and I like done. this it's elongated heart it's very kind of primitive heart style yeah. So yeah. but nice. I wanted to mm. so that when you die I could cut them oh in the machine which we yeah. will do now okay And oh, we've only got a couple of minutes left, just to let you know, Charmaine. Okay, and I'm going to have... He's going to the machine. Yeah. Okay. So if you put them two in... Normally you should put, way, take other them in. Other way around. Oh, gosh, yeah. Um, I, I, I do leave one, side, one side for cutting and one side for the smooth one. Lovely. So there you go. And look, I have got some tape. And we're putting them one inside of each of the other? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If okay. it moves, it moves. Who cares? Okay. It's meant to be. Right, but I go. do have some tape. Oh, so. oh. <laughs> there on the machine but I've also I bought some um, clear tape from I think it was um, Pink Frog oh yes we've had some of, um, there might even be some on the seven day saver Ta -da! It's, it's all changed <laughs> this morning it's actually <laughs> <laughs> okay so I've got Alice in there and I now want because I've used my dark colour underneath I now want my pencils to be able okay. to put oh, this so in come on Charmaine where you put your pencils Ooh, there. How much stuff do I bring with my hair? <laughs> oh, those are cut out nice. You can see that little beveled edge actually on these. On yes, they're not, not quite perfect as in the actual um, spacing that you've got there. But I kind of like that. I have no, it slightly it, it's off. It's meant it gives to be it more of a quirky look. Doesn't it's it? meant to be, but mm. the in, the inside one that you popped out is of course yeah. perfect, perfect, <laughs> perfect, isn't it? Let's pop that down there. Okay, now I don't particularly like her face being really dark and okay. things like that, so um, I will, it will add some colour to it, but a little tip that you can do, if you've got some white gesso, put a tiny touch of white gesso on there, mm -hmm. and if you'd left your stamp and the piece in your stamp press, mm -hmm. you can then re-ink her face back in and then go in and colour it. So idea. I do that quite a lot when I'm colouring something and making a massive, be massive background, messy background first with dark colours, Lovely. but you can go in with, it depends whether or not you're using translucent, or oh, um, opaque yeah. as well but I'm just going to put a touch of colour in there and um, nice just to liven Charmaine. her up a little We're bit. We're down to the last 30 seconds of the hour so we are going to have to say goodbye to you in the next um, well not even a few minutes half a minute um, so yeah apologies we're going to have to step away from this in the next few moments but good news is Charmaine's going to be back with Yanis a little bit later on. Your good news uh, and with Yanis? No not, <laughs> it's Bless. good news for me because I'm <laughs> up on holiday now. So, yeah, you so, and yeah, you've only yeah. just come back haven't you? I know it's months ago uh, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah so Charmaine's going to be back with Yanis at eight o'clock you're going to pop in and see him in good evening at Chandra as well? I will pop in he and see him apparently well. somebody else is going to be in there so Heather was saying Oh, I don't know. She oh, it's saying. Adam. No, Adam's not in today. Oh, she'll be so mortified. She will be disappointed.